Hello everybody, it's Nerdiversal back here with another video. So it's been a couple years since like full lockdown quarantine, but I'm sure everybody remembers when Animal Crossing was at its peak in 2020. And let me tell you, when that came out, I spent so many hours on it. Let me just, you know what? Let me show you how many hours I have. Yeah, so 585. Honestly, I thought I'd be at 600, so now I'm a little bit disappointed. The point is, I played a lot during quarantine. It became my life. And I wanted to finally show you guys my eyelid. I finally invested in a capture card. I finally did it. This is actually really fucking exciting because it's playing on OBS on my computer and I've never seen that before and that's really fucking cool. Without further ado, uh, let me show you my island, the island of loops. I didn't even bother getting a controller for this. I just decided to double hand it today. This is my map, by the way. So as you can see, we have me, uh, my boyfriend who doesn't play, his little brother who played for like a day, he never even put up a tent. So he's just kind of there and like in there. Jay, that's for you. Now we have Fuchsia, Rex who's moving out today. We got Punchy in the back, Ketchup in the middle, Octavian, my boy, Lopez, my boy, Poppy, my sweet, sweet girl. Static, who I am trying to get rid of. Um, he came from one of my friend's islands and he was mean to one of my other villagers one time, so now I just don't like him. Butch, who I'm also trying to get rid of. I don't really know why I don't like them. I just kind of don't want two grumpies on my island at once. Fucks up the vibe, you know? And Bill, he is my athletic villager replacement after Coach left. And Coach was my, one of my OGs. I really didn't want him to leave because I really loved him, but he was like, I'm depressed. I've been going through the motions, and so I kind of had to let him leave. So now we have Bill. So here I am with my little bunny fit on. So this is my front of my house. So this is my house right here. I decided to try and make it like a little bit witchy. And here is one of three mush lamps that I've acquired and only because my friend got the DIY and I sent her all the skinny mushrooms to do it. Uh, thank you for that, Randy. I got this castle front when I was working at Happy Home Paradise. And then this right here is my boyfriend's house. So my boyfriend, this is actually my boyfriend's Switch and he did play briefly, but then I made the island first and so now I technically like own it and then he just stopped playing. So because he stopped playing, I decided to turn his house into a school, magic school though i had to make it interesting imagine you just go to regular school in animal crossing how fucking sad would that be all right so this is the front entrance and it's ha it actually has changed um over time it used to be a lot more cluttered and filled with a lot more fish because my boyfriend really likes fishing and so i thought i would give it a fish theme but now that it's a school i've decided to keep the fish but now i've bought some things from happy home paradise like this wonderful thing over here and then this wonderful chair it's still really fucking ugly though i don't put as much effort into this house as i do mine okay here's the break room with some happy home paradise updates to it and now that we have the two llamas that are at harv's island i've been customizing literally everything they have capitalized on my entire bank account and they can have it here's the dorms every single person in this entire school shares exactly one room that means there's three whole students in this whole school it is very poppin here's the office this is where the dean sits he he also likes fishes as you can see by that lovely little uh, fishing gear right there. I don't know why. I don't know why my boyfriend likes fishing so much. If you could see his character, you would also see that his character is designed like a fisherman as well. He desperately wants the hat that says women want me, fish fear me. Okay, so now let's check up our attic. I don't remember. I think this is the classroom if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, this is the classroom. Okay, so here's like the witch's cauldron where they do all the spells. There's a skeleton that may come to life at any moment. Uh, we got kind of like a dark wallpaper going on here because I imagine it's like a school of black magic. They're just kind of hiding it. And then um, don't press that button right there. We don't know what it does. Oh, and this is the shower in case you get water in your eyes. You could rinse them out like how they had you do it at high school or middle school. So here's our little library we got going on here. I imagine there's lots of magic stuff. People come here to study and to cry and to lament over their grades. Okay, I'm gonna go check out my house now. Admittedly, his outside is much cooler than mine. Um, also, I like never check his mail. Okay, let's try my house. Here's my living room. I have uh, stale cupcakes playing on repeat because I think it's the prettiest song out there. And then I got all these from Happy Home Paradise. These are the villagers that I have earned. So uh, Ketchup, Fuchsia, Octavian, Poppy, my absolute favorites. The only one that I haven't that is one of my favorites is Lopez. And he still hasn't given me one yet, that fake bitch. And then this one over here is the ones that I've done so far. So I did a house for Celeste and I did a house for Isabel. They give you their portraits after. I hope that wasn't like a spoiler or anything that people care about. But yeah, they give you their pictures after you make a vacation home for them if they're NPCs. 
And then here's my little cat. Rex has just been known to come in and just sit in this little cat bed. And I think Punchy did it once, but honestly, Rex loves sitting there. I don't know what's up with him. Who, by the way, is moving, and I'll show you guys his house later. But he's moving, and I need to go villager hunting for him tomorrow. Here's my kitchen. I have a lot of soups and foods, because who doesn't like to eat in their very special kitchen? Um, I'm kind of running out of space for all these little guys. But I finally got this Squeakoid, and I've been waiting for him for so long, but I finally got him. Look at him go! Look at him go. And I got my little bong right here. And then I have the uh, winter wallpaper with like the snow coming down outside. It's not winter anymore, but I think it's a really pretty background. I just think it's neat, okay? And then I made like everything black because I'm a basic bitch, except for the cute radio because I literally just could not make that black. They would not let me. And then like one plant because if I'm gonna have a green thumb anywhere, it's gonna be an Animal Crossing and not in real life. Okay, let's go to my bedroom. So I like to envision that I'm out in space and that the rest of my house is like the spaceship that's like pretending to be real. And so this is like my little space room with all the stars outside. We constantly just stay flying through space. And then once I got the thing where you could like make effects on your items, I was like, I'm definitely gonna make all of my furniture look like it's trying to fly away. Also for the longest time, I had these star fragments down here and Happy Home Academy did not like that. They wanted me to pick up my trash, but um, I just think they're uncultured. So I got my little bathroom, dim lighting, nice little music going on here, why not? It's very like calm and like, cool and like i would sleep here if i could i mean i would just live in my animal crossing island if somebody let me but i got my little shower right here i made this little shower floor mat all right this is my attic this is my little restaurant view so we got like a nice little open bar right here some like wines and wine cups for your romantic evenings and we've even got a live band playing look at them go wow so yeah, if you ever want to enjoy a romantic dinner with anybody on your island, you just come here and they'll just sit in these chairs if you do. All right, finally my downstairs. This is the part I'm most excited about. I put my heart and soul into this one. It's my ramen restaurant, guys. Guys, it's my ramen restaurant. Look, as soon as Happy Home Paradise let me have these little ramen noodles, because they let me make the restaurant, and so then I could just buy these. And so I bought them, and now I have like real noodles everywhere. Because for the longest time, it was just New Year's noodles, all the New Year's noodles that I could buy and put in my restaurant. Now it's real ramen. Look at these little bowls, dude. They're like perfect bowls. And then you have your little chairs right here, your menu. This is where you order. Well, okay, when it, when you see it from the side, you realize it really is just like a drink vending machine. But it's supposed to be like one of those ones in Japan where you can like put your order into the vending machine and then they'll bring you your ramen. That's what it's supposed to be. And then here's where you can um, drop your bowls off if you wanna be nice and sweet and fun. All right, now let's look at the rest of my island. Okay, so over here we have a little diner and I got little music playing over here. You just dance dance to it all night dance dance and then you got your little foosball table over here and then you can play the game over here the our little little arcade game and then here's the little things they got juice they got a little coffee this is my nail salon this is actually one of the first things that i ever made uh because i just got all the nail salon stuff like immediately and i literally have not changed this since i terraformed my island back in 2020. oops and then this is my pumpkin patch um if you'll notice this little lamp right here and all these little like halloween decor here it's because i never uh, when i make stuff for halloween i like to never take it down because i really love halloween and it just makes me sad to take all of my halloween decorations down that's kind of what happened with this over here my spirit of halloween um i just was really proud of it and i didn't want to take it down for the holiday so it's halloween year round on loops come and join us and then this is like my little hangout spot this is another one of the things that came up like as soon as i terraformed and i just haven't changed it so it's just like a little place where you could just like camp out with your friends. Over here we have the observation deck. And this is where you can just come and you can just look at the sky. Wow. And then here's my little diving spot. I got the changing room over here, the little towel so that you can like dry off after you're done. And then the swimsuit so you can just jump right in. All right, this is my cemetery. I'm gonna show you guys this before the school. Um, I finally got gold roses in this and I was super excited. And this is kind of the only place that they stay because I just hope that they'll keep multiplying over and over and over again. I just forget to water them. And also I have entirely too many flowers. So I'm not really pushing it. As you can see right here, this is where somebody shat themselves. And these graves mean nothing. I have a friend who turns her graves into like villagers who have left. I just don't have all that energy. And also I didn't get pictures from all of them. So I'd feel bad if like they were just unmarked. 
this is where I keep Nook's Cranny. I got a little thing right here, so you can just, I don't know, stand. And then this is my orchard slash garden slash farm. So I got basically everything right here in the front, and then I got my little water canals that are supplying water to all my fruits. I don't grow apples because they're my main fruit, and I only put these here so I could make money. So every three days I just collect them, and then I go sell them, and you get like 32000 out of it, especially because I have so many pears. And they're like the sister fruit, and I don't know why, but you get a lot of money for those. These, I'm not sure if you get a lot of money for, but I kind of just keep growing them, even if I don't use them to make food. I don't know, I just like them. Here's my outdoor ramen restaurant, where you can sit down after a long work day, come get some ramen. And then you can see that I still have my New Year's noodles right there, because I just was like, fuck it, I'll just keep that there. And then here's the menu. This is my tea shop. It's much like Brewster's, except we sell tea and not just coffee and like little cakes and stuff. We got this little Sanrio. I got this little Sanrio cake from my friend. She just sent it to me and I was like, fuck yeah, I'll put that right there. Got the nice little waterfall over here to look at and be annoyed by the sound, but it looks pretty. So here's my spa. This is for the boys and this one's for the girls. And then you got just like, I don't know, a unisex one right here. I don't know what this is for. I just kind of decided to put it here because it was steaming and I was like, that would be pretty. Got my statues over here. Another little sitting place by the flowers and the lake. And then this right here is my party stage area, like a community center type thing. So you got your party poppers right here, the DJ or the radio over here, open bar, popcorn, where you can sit down. This is the exact amount of friends that I had come over one time. That's why the seating looks a little bit weird, but it's because I needed a seat for all of us because we were having like a costume contest or something. And then if you go up here, it leads also to my Spirit of Halloween store, but also we got a drummer, a DJ, and a full crowd to sing right behind you. This is backwards, I think. Yes, that was backwards. So over here, we got this little like floating island. I put a ring right here because I wanted to be romantic with my boyfriend and I kind of just left it here because I forgot to show him. But I kept my little moon right here and then put some like glowing moss, which was one of my favorite parts of the update. I love glowing moss. I love stepping on it and I love stepping on it at night. And then over here, we have where Red comes. If he were here, but he's not, he's over at Harv's Island right now. This over here is like the only open grass area that I have. I wanted to build on like every single part of this. I have a new idea and I don't want to get rid of any old things that I have. So I kind of just left this open so I could like make my snowmen or like find fossils and rocks and stuff like that. This is like my magic little sitting spot. This is the mysterious store where the mysterious witch sells mysterious things such as a firework, a lamp, cat grass, and this funky little fountain. This is my get rich quick scheme where I get all my money trees. I plant them, this is the designated spot that I just carry them out and I plant them to so I can keep them all. And I wait till it fills up all the way here and then I just tear it all down and then I feel really good about myself getting like 300k bells, it's great. This is my pool area. It's closed until summer because it's the spring right now, but I got it barred off because nobody will be freezing in my pool today. This is my laundromat. This is where people up here in this little hotel that I'm about to show you can come and do their laundry and actually all the villagers do because none of them have washers and dryers and as much as I tried to remodel their house to contain them, their houses are far too small. I could not do that. Here's my hotel. This is the little uh, bed and breakfast uh, entrance area. This is for the poor people to come stay in. They can come lay in this bed and all they got is a toilet. This is for the medium rich people who want a double bed and a tub along with their toilet and also a sink, such luxury. And then this is the super uber mega rich people who want to have a couch and a bed and a nice little bathroom that you could just walk into with a claw foot tub. This is the pinnacle of wealth, including the little walls that don't block off anything and there's no roof, it's all included. This is my little uh, beach plaza area over here, kind of like Aramate. So we got the fortune teller over here. You can roll to decide your fate. If you roll in the head, she shoots you in the head. We have our seamstress over here, somebody selling a bunch of watches and a bunch of glasses and stuff. This is, I don't know, she's a comic book creator. I don't really know what she does, but she's just kind of here making comics. My smoothie bar, my noodle and dumpling shop, another little tea place. I imagine it's like the other tea place, but they kind of decided to set up a little area right in the front, like a food truck. Here's where you eat. Some games I have here. I didn't really know what to do with this and I didn't want to get rid of it, so I just put it right there. We've got our carousel, our mer merry-go-round. 
No. What is this called? Words are escaping me today. And then over here we have the line to the teacup ride, so you can just go on your little teacup ride. Um, I don't buy bridges really unless I need them to go like at an angle, because that's the only way you can really get them at an angle. Otherwise, I kind of just used terraforming and made like a landmass because I refuse to pay Tom Nook to move things and to build things. This is our campsite. This is Fuchsia's house. I kind of remodeled it to make it look prettier. I wanted to give her, well, if you saw the inside, it's a lot different because she was one of my original villagers and so she just had a bunch of block furniture, poor girl. So I fixed hers up. It looks better on the inside and the outside. It's kind of different. I just wanted to make her rich. She's been with me from the get-go, so I wanted her to be there and be rich. This is Static's house. We don't talk about him. This is kind of like, here's like my little sitting space, kind of like where you would wait for like a car or a train or something oh my god bill's home today the only time he's ever home is when he's sick oh he's got guests i'm not talking to butch i don't like him that's how i remodeled his house because his was pretty good too uh i just wanted to give him a bed because i don't think he had one at first and a kitchen because i want all of them to be able to cook and to give me diys poppy's house what do you gotta say girl so last night I had a bad dream. I was in my house, Kay, and there was this fish in my living room floating. And the floating fish, it had a really deep voice. When it talked, my windows rattled. It said, you make dress, dress lousy decorating choices. That took me a minute. I'm still freaked out, barnacles. Would you come over and keep me company? It helped take my mind off the judgy nightmare fish. I'm sorry, ketchup. I'm sorry, ketchup. I don't mean to do this to you. I'm so sorry. I'm in the middle of a video. I wouldn't. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What if that fish wasn't just a dream? She's guilting me. What if it's really there and still passing judgment on my decorating skills? Oh my god. You shouldn't have to deal with that. Yeah, this is one of those things I have to face on my own, girl. I'm so sorry, ketchup. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You handle that fish with love and grace, my baby. And then I will come at a later date when I'm not recording a video. This is Lopez's house. This is Punchy's house. This is Rex's house. I'm gonna go into Rex's house because he's leaving. He's in boxes. I have been trying to get rid of him for kind of a long time, actually. He was one of my original villagers. So him, Poppy, Marina, Lopez, and then Fuchsia and Coach. And I kind of wanted to get rid of him because I have too many men here. So I needed to get at least another girl because there's like only two girls on my island right now. Here we have my little stage area where you can come and like be abandoned stuff. Play your little instruments. Static, what are you doing here? I don't want to talk to you. And then this is like my plaza entrance. I decorated it for Festival. Um, and then I kind of just forgot to get rid of everything. So it's still here with like a nice little empty space But usually I have a bench right here a bench and a table just for funsies My plaza is like really close to my entrance too. So there's not like a whole lot that I could have done with it See like here's dodo and then you can still see that over here and then this over here is my garden where i color coded all of my flowers well all the basic flowers and like pink and orange that's kind of it and then like blue i have over here but all the other like extra kind of flowers i put at like another part of my island because i don't feel like dealing with them over here we have the research space where you can like do your research and there's like this like little board here yeah i imagine blathers likes to come down here and kind of just like do his research on like all his like fish and stuff he doesn't really have a research place ever since he upgraded the museum so i figured like why why not give it to him here actually i think he has one in the back of the bug room doesn't he what an inconvenient place for somebody who really likes bugs though someone who really hates bugs my bad and then as you can see i have all of my flowers that i refuse to get rid of because they're all hybrids i think every single flower here that i have is a hybrid that i just can't part with and also it would take far too long to dig them all up because i think it took like a few hours last time and i had to go through like three shovels so i just don't want to do that again this is Anyways, got another little sitting spot over here so you can sit with the flowers and read. Last part of my beach, because I don't really take care of my beaches a lot. Like, I don't really put a whole lot on them. But here is, like, the little campsite. Oh, I have a recipe today. I forgot to pick that up. And this is my little camping spot. So I think that's everything that I have to show you guys on this whole island. Um, I kind of still need to work on the beaches. But for the most part, everything is kind of done except for, like, platforms on the other beach but I stay fixing everything and changing everything. Oh, one last thing, here's my flag. This is why my island is called Loops. So yeah, that was my island, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little island walkthrough. If you guys wanna see me play more Animal Crossing, please let me know, I'd really appreciate it, especially now that I got the capture card, because I like to watch people do like builds and stuff and like 
play their dailies and stuff, but do you guys like that? Because I really like Animal Crossing, and I could do that. All right, so if you guys like this video, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, which, by the way, is coming up my annual anime convention, except they didn't do it the last two years because of COVID, but now we're doing it again this year. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys later. Bye!